This is it. The bridge to the heavens should be right above us. Are you sure? <laughs> Not really. Not really, huh? But you're right. This is it. Call it a woman's intuition. <laughs> Women's intuition? What kind of silly comic book shit is that? You still don't know a thing about me. Let's just say I have plenty of experience with nothing coming to mind. What? I spent 500 years not knowing who I was. I only found out the truth recently. Y you too? Listen, I don't remember a thing. Nothing. I don't even know why I'm so damn sure I need to go to that mountain. But I know I have to. It's all I know. Does that make any sense? Come now, little one. Can't let the girls know you've got a heart. It's not like that. If that's all you know, that's all the sense you need. Just believe. That's what I did. Bayonetta. Let's do it! Slow down, will ya? I think... I remember this. Huh? again oh hey mouthy brad kid so i see you're acquainted how did you get here i'm the great l-u-k-a luca i didn't go through all these ridiculous ordeals to just randomly show up in opportune places you know see risking everything for nothing told you i knew someone just like that so what are you after this time? Oh, loads of stuff. For instance... I found this really great place for seafood. They do an amazing sardine munier. But more importantly, I'm investigating an old Noah Toon story. Known as... The Legend of Aesir. The Legend of Aesir? This fairy tale is... Actually, this might have something to do with you, Bayonetta. You don't say. The legend of Aesir. A legend from the dawn of time. Nobody knows where the world came from. A struggle caused the trinity of realities to be split into three realms. Light, darkness, and chaos. Obviously, our world was the one born from chaos. The three worlds all needed rulers, most of all ours. And the one that ruled the chaos became known as Aesir. Aesir spent the first eternity quietly looking upon the earth from his holy mountain, where we only see reality and make it match our rules of the world. Aesir saw through reality, and those visions became our world. These observations became Aesir's power, Aesir's eyes were truly the eyes that created the world. However, Aesir pitied the humans for their naivete and lack of free will. So the power he wielded was split into two equal halves and entrusted each to humanity's instincts. The right eye of light and the left eye of darkness. By dividing the power of the eyes of Aesir, humans gained free will they could now choose. With control of the eyes of the world, the eyes that determine destiny, humans could choose their own paths. They awoke to their own identities. Man is but a reed, the most feeble thing in nature, but now we were thinking reeds, and we took our first big step towards grand prosperity. 
the inheritors of the Eyes of Aesir, had been granted the power of creation. The Eyes? That's right. The Eyes of the World. Controlled by a Lumen Sage and Umbra Witch. The Eyes of the World? However, the influence of the right eye, the one controlled by the sages, left this world forever with the death of the final sage. <gasps> do the natural disasters that are occurring right now have something to do with the loss of the right eye? And what will happen to our planet? Those are the truths I'm after. And the truth will always be the truth. So if the truth is here, then so am I. And I think the key to that truth is that mountain, Fimbleventer. How do you find these things? I've done my homework. Would you expect anything less from the marvelous, magnificent, magnanimous Luca? Ah! Better. Get on!
If I can just do something about that, come on!